When it comes to potential, people typically look towards characters such as Gohan, Goten, and Trunks as they were all able to display incredible power at a very young age. But what about the next generation? I'm talking about Pan, the quarter Saiyan daughter of Gohan and Videl. So right off the bat, I just wanted to let you all know that for the purpose of this video, I'll be completely abandoning Dragon Ball GT's version of Pan. I just wanted to talk about her character and how it could have progressed based on what we know from Dragon Ball Super and how much latent potential Pan could potentially have. And before anyone asks on my channel, canon doesn't matter, but for the sake of the argument before I get the oh she's not canon, Pan along with Bullet Slash Bar are both canon as they are both in the final episodes of Dragon Ball Z and the Dragon Ball Z manga. So when talking about Pan, I'm going to start at the aforementioned end of Z in which Pan is four years old and right from the get-go she is shown being able to defeat grown men in battle when she participates in a Tenkaichi Budokai and is clearly superior to her competition. This makes sense because tying Dragon Ball Super into the timeline, Gohan and Hercule both state that they wanted Pan to train and be a martial artist, and Hercule even took it a step further and mentioned that he wanted Pan to be his successor. Not to mention that Goku was actually alive during this time skip, and I'm sure that Goku and Pan would have had plenty of opportunities to train together continually. In my mind, I would love to say that Pan has the potential to be one of the strongest fighters on Earth given a few factors. How strong she is, the decline of the other Saiyans, and the potential Super Saiyan transformation. At the end of Z, Gohan is shown to be a scholar once again, so we know that he's declined in power. Goten neglects training, obviously he's going to decline in power, and Trunks is starting to take over Capsule Corp, so once again, he doesn't have the time to train, so of course he's going to decline in power. And if you want to take Dragon Ball GT into consideration, these guys are stated to not really train at this point. They don't do anything, so during the time skip, they get significantly weaker, so they're no longer a factor. And if Pan at some point is able to become a Super Saiyan, and these guys, well, obviously they're probably not going to lose their Super Saiyan transformations, but if she's able to achieve the form and train with the form, Form, it's perfectly feasible to say that she could be stronger than all of those characters. Now, in the GT Perfect Files, which is essentially a guidebook for Dragon Ball GT of sorts, it is stated that Pan has the potential to become a Super Saiyan and that she would become a type of Super Saiyan that we have never seen before, which is very interesting to note. But the actual reason, the actual reason why Pan and Bra, for that matter, have never become Super Saiyan is because Akira Toriyama himself stated that they never really had the incentive, they had no reason to do so. If you guys recall, before it became a Super Saiyan bargain sale, Super Saiyan was a emotion-based transformation. They never had a reason to go Super Saiyan. And above all else, the reason why they didn't become Super Saiyan is because Akira Toriyama did not have the image in his head as to what he would have wanted a female Super Saiyan to look like. So with all that said, Pan should ultimately have the potential to become one of the strongest fighters on Earth, as I have already stated. I would love to see Goku continuing to train Pan when he takes on the duty of training Oob to be Earth's defender so she can stand right there with him, because truly, the only thing that's ever held Pan back was writing. So guys, that is it for the video. Let me know how you guys feel about the video. For one, how much potential do you guys think Pan could potentially have? How strong do you think Pan could potentially get? Let me know down below in a comment. That's it for me, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.